Yo, it's Kabam on Yiga Master, and I'm going to be showing you some replays today. So, I'm using Blue Eyes White Dragon with Obelisk the Tormentor. So, yeah, Blue Eyes and Obelisk again. Um, I made a few changes to the deck um, just to make it a little bit more consistent. Ha! <laughs> consistent. Blue Eyes and Obelisk. Yeah, right. Um, but, you know, I, I added some foolish cards and all that. It's such a shame um, when the season was over today. I played some duels even though you can't rank up because when the season ends, you just don't rank up until the new season is ready. Just stay where you are. And I had this amazing duel where I defeated Kashtir of Blue Eyes with no floodgates and I was just going to destroy my opponent like really, really badly. And yeah, my opponent left because <laughs> my opponent knew they were just going to take a lot of damage with um, Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. It was so good. And then when the new season happened, they wiped the whole match history from the last season or the time where you can't rank up. So I was very disappointed. I couldn't save it because I didn't have any room. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, I added um, Foolish Burial just in case I get that Obelisk spell card. Um, that special summons Obelisk from your graveyard or hand. Um, the, quick, uh, the quick play spell. So just a way to send Obelisk there. And also added the other Foolish card um, to send any spell or trap from the deck to the graveyard. But yeah, here a lot of stuff happened, but I summoned alternative, I attacked and bounced the spell card back. In this one, I could not summon Obelisk, unfortunately. Also, I forgot to change Dark Magician, by the way. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know if you saw the Slifer OTK video, but after that video, I was meant to record a Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon video, but I couldn't because I was having internet issues. So every time a replay ended, I would wait such a long time um, for me to connect back to the internet for well, Master Duel. Um, so I already recorded the first part, but then I stopped it because of the issues. But now I'm recording this one instead, so it might get a bit confusing with the other one saying, I just finished this life, I don't know, I'm just warning you. I'll explain it, I'll explain so there's no confusion, I'll explain in the Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon video. I'm ju I just already have the first duel recorded only, but I'm just going to record the four other duels now and then just do this editing. I don't know what my opponent was doing here. Like, the only reason why I'm showing this replay is because I... You, you, this Blue Eyes Fusion means so much to me. Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So, I saw a chance to fuse Neo and I said, you know what? Why not? Didn't get Obelisk, unfortunately. You know, I got the spell card. The last duel before this one, I had Obelisk in my hand. And now in this game, I don't have Obelisk in my hand, but I have the spell card. The Breaking Ruin God. So I summoned Neo Blois Ultimate Dragon. Destroyed that defense position once I attacked. Attacked. Well, I'll use my effect and then attacked. Use my effect and then attack. I don't know what the hell my opponent was doing, but I just wanted to show off Neo. I just wanted to show off Neo. I don't know. I don't know what my opponent was doing. What was that? Got to mention this, but there's actually going to be six replays in this video instead of five. Um, so it was originally going to be five, but I had such a nice duel today that I had to include it in, in this video. So, and it wouldn't make sense to be in another video because I don't know when I'm going to be using Blue Eyes and Obelisk again. Unless you want to see more Blue Eyes and Obelisk, let me know. I gotta drink some water. My mouth is thirsty, so every time I'm talking, it's just got a swallow and that sounds wrong that's what she said I don't know um <laughs> but yeah just mouth is so dry no obelisk again I'm hoping to get obelisk with maxi um or even just the breaking ruin god just so I can send obelisk from my deck to the graveyard um so my opponent's adding all these tune cards to the hand like like the Pegasus or something. Ooh, Two World Kaiba Boy. Kaiba Boy. And then my opponent used Forbidden Droplet randomly on um, Fenra and Karibo. Link Karibo. Mew! Mew! <laughs> oh god. Is that how Link Karibo sounds? Like Metal Sonic? Wow! You know, like that. I guess my opponent didn't want to summon more monsters because of Maxi, but I'm glad I used Maxi because when you use Maxi when 
Sky Strike Ace Ray get summoned, uh, they can just like 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 your opponent can just get rid of Sky Strike Ace Ray with quick effect. So yes, you can just avoid Maxi, which is very dumb. But yeah, my opponent summoned two Sky Strike Ace Ray monsters. Uh, my opponent fell for my plan because I knew this was all gonna happen. Now my opponent can't link with Sky Strike Ace Ray again. But yeah, this is what I wanted to originally do. I forgot what it was. Let's see. I had a plan though. What I did was, I know what I did was weird, but I did it all on purpose. Just I had a plan. Destroyed that. Yeah. Wise Jet Dragon. Yeah. And then I link summoned into Predator Plant. Okay. Oh yeah, because I used the alternatives effect. That's right. So I wanted to just summon another Blue Eyes monster. Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. And then I attacked. I should have attacked with Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, but I was just paranoid my opponent might play, like, play something from their hand. But yeah. Oh well. No Burst Dream of Destruction <laughs> win animation, unfortunately. But maybe there's another monster who got a win animation in this video. <laughs> oh, the title and thumbnail already ruined that. Whoops! Just realized my opponent's name was Chicken. <laughs> cow and Chicken. Gotta love Cow and Chicken. I haven't seen it in years, but I'm sure I would still love it if I watched it. No Obelisk still, really. But I'm pretty sure I summoned Kashtira Fenra. Any Saint Seiya fans? Remember Fenra and Saint Seiya? Let me know. Let me know. If some of you are Saint Seiya fans and know which character I'm talking about. So I used uh, Pot of Prosperity. And what did I get? Nothing, right? No Breaking Ruin God. No. So I had to get Maxi because it's like, well, I, I can't really get anything. Um, so I sent the White Son of Ancients. Then I played Ash Blossom to summon Baron. I've been using Baron a lot lately. Um, and Baron has been doing pretty uh, good stuff, if you know what I mean. Nah, seriously, the Omni Negate has just been so good. And it's and like, yeah, Baron's easy to summon. Just Kashtura, Fenra, and Ash Blossom. My opponent set down three cards. I don't know if my opponent got bricked. I don't remember these duels because they're like from three days ago. But the last duel, I sense that. I sense a lot of things in Master Duel. It's like, I bet that's infinite and permanence. And it was. I said that. I said that to myself before using my effect. I'm like, that's infinite and permanence, I bet. I guess my opponent just got it there. Oh, wait. Didn't my opponent already use infinite and permanence? Was that the other guy? No. Oh, yeah. No, my opponent already. Wow. Two infinite and permanence. Okay. That happens sometimes. Oh, yeah. My opponent's using hero. That's why I remember this duel now. So I use my effect to negate that. So my opponent only has, like, what? One card in their hand. Um, two face downs. I mean, I don't know if there were anything, because every time I did stuff, nothing was going off on my opponent's side. So here my opponent got rid of Baron by making that monster's attack 3,300. Um, that I, I stopped my opponent from doing what they wanted, because, yeah, this card right here was just going to start some bullshit, and I did not want any of it. So I tried getting Blue Eyes White Dragon, and guess what? I was successful. <laughs> Bingo Machine Go! Good sometimes, sometimes, not a lot of times, sometimes. Bounce that face down away and it was GG. Where the hell's Obelisk, you're probably wondering. Don't worry, Obelisk is coming. Uh, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that looks nice actually. Hang on a second, that looks good. Ah, well, you ruined it. Um, but the 13th grave, I believe. Is that the 13th grave? Hey, I'm cooking over here, man! I don't know why my opponent just did this. Uh, well, oh yeah, I guess my opponent's using Beastial. I guess my opponent got bricked. Um, with maybe Beastial monsters and Maxi as well. I mean, I'm not saying Maxi's a brick, but... You know, it's just... You know, like, it's not like you can do something. Oh yeah, um, like some crazy effect with Maxi. <laughs> When you're going first. Um, yeah, my opponent's using Branded and Beastial. I just remembered, but I think my opponent got really bricked. So I used um, Bingo Machine Go, which works sometimes. Sometimes. Depends what you want to get. And then I used Trade-In. 
And yeah, great. Haha. <laughs> Two cards that pretty much. Uh, f I'm not. Well, this is technically for Obelisk, but I don't have the Breaking Ruin God, but it can also be used for the White Son of Ancients. This is basically for the White Son of Ancients. And what do I get? The White Son of Ancients. Yep. 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 White Son of Ancients, which is pretty much this. And I only run two copies, by the way, in this deck. Then my opponent used Called by the Grave on Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I used Ultimate of Fusion. And I sent the White Son of Ancients back. Because I can pretty much send the White Son of Ancients to my graveyard with these two cards. So I guess it was alright. Um, drawing a dragon there. And then I used Dragon Shrine to send Blue Eyes and the White Son of Ancients. And then I used um, Dragon Shrine to send Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. And I use the White Son of Ancients to get Boy's White Dragon to my hand. Ah, oh, that's what I did. I'm a genius. Sometimes I forget my genius because these replays from a few days ago. So I attacked. And I summoned Boy's Jet Dragon. My opponent activated that. Laugh my ass off. That's all good. Fright for patchwork. I summoned Boy's Jet Dragon. I attacked, attacked, bounced the face down away, and if you have no bestial monsters, it's pretty much just Never mind! Burst Stream of Destruction is in this video. Huh! Alright, so you're probably wondering where the hell's Obelisk. These two last replays, that's right, two, not one, you'll see Obelisk in action, the animation, the attack. <laughs> You're going to love it, I think. This duel, I don't know what happened. I guess my opponent got bricked. I used Maxi and my opponent was like, nah, I'm good. So, there's that. <laughs> so, I got Blue Eyes and Alternative with Melody. And then my opponent used um, Drill Lockbird. Is that uh, Drill Lock? Droll and Lockbird. Droll and Lockbird. And I use Foolish Burial to send Obelisk the Tormentor. That's right, you heard me. Not Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Not the White Son of Ancients. And then my opponent used Maxi, even though my opponent played Droll. <laughs> Droll and Lock. Oh, beautiful. So yeah, Maxi stopped my opponent. I guess my opponent should have just played Droll and Lock, right? And then played Maxi after in the chain. But I guess my opponent is that kind of player, which is fair enough, where you won't use Maxi unless you see your opponent's going to special summon. I was like that too, but because I cash Tira, I'm not like that anymore. I, I just throw it. If I can stop my opponent from summoning a bunch of crazy monsters or super dumb stupid monsters like cash Tira, yes. So my opponent used Harpy's Feather Duster. I used the Ultimate Creature of Destruction on Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Is what I'd say if I had Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. I used it on Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. And because of that, Infinite Permanence was destroyed. <laughs> um, so I attacked and it was GG. I don't know what the hell my opponent was doing or what happened. But it's like my opponent could really do much to me with the alternate creature destruction there, I guess. But no trap cards or anything, really. Just a bunch of equipped spells that... You have no Mikanko monsters. Mikanko? Mikanko? La ha 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 ha, stri he 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 play. La ha 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 ha, stri he play. La ha 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 ha, stri he play. You're gonna see something amazing. I'm pretty sure you can already tell what it is by seeing Soul Energy Max and the Breaking Ruin God and also Foolish Burial. Right? So I summoned Alternative. And then I used um, Soul Energy Max to get Obelisk to my hand from my deck. And then I used Foolish Burial to send the White Son of Ancients from my deck to the graveyard. I'm not going to spoil anything even the title and the thumbnail already ruined it. But all I could say to my opponent was... Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. So yeah, here I use infinite permanence on this monster, which stopped my opponent from getting a ancient yeah spell or a trap card. Then my opponent played that fusion spell. I guess this is all my opponent could summon. But 
I was like, all right, that's fine. Then my opponent ended their turn. Um, so here, if this card is destroyed by a battle sent to the graveyard, I could have used my effect, but I was pretty paranoid about the face down, so I just wanted to bounce it back um, with Wise Jet Dragon, and then just attack this monster with alternative. I could have used my effect, and then this wouldn't have happened, which I probably should have done, to be honest. I probably should have just used my effect, but what if it was like infinite permanence, then alternative just can't attack. So that's why I don't want to risk it. Um, just in case, you know. So, yeah. If you're wondering why I did that, whatever. But I had a backup plan. I knew my opponent was going to get a spell card, so I came prepared. I summoned Drag Lubion, brought all that lube. And then um, Titanic. Oof, avoided the iceberg. That's good. That was pretty dark. Um, so I ended my turn. Then my opponent played that spell card. I used t -t 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 Titanic's effect and put it under me. <laughs> and then my opponent ended their turn. This is when I was saying don't, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. Also, I want to uh, mention that I was meant to send um, Blue Eyes. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I sent Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. No, actually, no, that's fine. I sent Blue Eyes Jet Dragon just in case. I could send Blue Eyes somewhere from my deck or hand, whatever, to the graveyard. Just so Blue Eyes Jet Dragon can be like, Hey guys, can I come back? But anyway, this is the moment you've been waiting for. This is when I was like, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. I attacked. I attacked. And then I used the Breaking Ruin God. Don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. And I attacked. Obelisk! God the Hand Crusher! 4,000 damage directly. That guy died. Just straight up died. Dead. Shadow Realm. If this is in English. This is in English. Well, I guess I should say that dude's in the Shadow Realm and <laughs> he ain't ever coming back. Alright, so this is the deck I was using in those replays. Um, like I said, it's a bit different to the other video. Um, just a few changes to make Blue Eyes <laughs> and Obelisk more consistent. <laughs> Call me Jerry Seinfeld because, oh my god, I'm such a comedian more consistency with blue eyes and and with obelisk on top I, I just want to shop the royal finish one yeah this is very consistent as i said in the other video don't use this i just did it for the video it's just for fun because i'm such a huge dual monsters fan so yeah i just <laughs> wanted to do this for fun don't use it even though I, i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie yes there were a lot of duels i lost obviously everyone loses but there was one point where I was just winning the whole time and I ranked up a lot. Like, if I wasn't testing decks a lot this season, because I look, besides this week and... Yeah, besides the God cards, I didn't really play Master Duel much before that. Like, I'm pretty sure this, um, like, all of this God card celebration uh, this week has pretty much got me back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, where I just want to play even more now. Um... So if I really tried, I easily could have gone to, like, Diamond something, but, you know, th this season I was just testing a lot and just having fun more than just being competitive, um, trying to go up rank. But yeah, um, going to end it here. Still happy I was able to see the God Crush animation. Uh, Obelisk is the best Egyptian God card. I don't care what anyone says. Sly, Fun, Ra are cool, but they're not cooler. Then Obelisk. By the way, I still didn't get the new Ra card. I told my cousin about it, and he did one summon, and he got he pulled two copies. I've done like five multi summons, I think, and I still can't get <laughs> the Wing Dragon of Ra. The one I got the most was this. Look at this four. The amount of times this guy would appear. Oh my God, I'm going to end it here for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.